みなさんこんにちは。Welcome back to my channel.Today I've got a super exciting video for you. I will be diving into the world of Japanese anime words that you can use in your daily life. Whether you are an anime fan or just interested in Japanese culture and language, this video is perfect for you. I've made a list of common Japanese anime words that are often used in daily conversations. You've probably heard some of them in your favorite anime. And now it's time to learn their meanings. Let's get started. First off, nakama. Nakama means comrade or friend. It's often used to refer to a close group of friends and allies who work hard to achieve the same goal together. For example, Kinoao nakama ga dekita. Kinoao nakama ga dekita. I found friends who get along very well. Shigoto nakama to nomi ni iku. Shigoto nakama to nomi ni iku. I'm going to grab a drink with my coworkers. Tomodachi. Tomodachi is another word for friend. It's a term you will frequently hear in various anime and daily conversations. For example, Ashita tomodachi to asobi ni iku yote desu. Ashita tomodachi to asobi ni iku yote desu. I have a plans to go hang out with my friends tomorrow. 新しい友達を作りたい。新しい友達を作りたい。I want to make new friends. みんな。みんな means everyone or everybody. It's a great word to use when addressing a group of people. Let's practice. みんなで一緒に行こう。みんなで一緒に行こう。Let's all go together. みんな楽しんでるみんな楽しんでる ?Is everyone having fun? 先輩、後輩。先輩 refer to someone who is your senior, such as an older student or a more experienced coworker. In many cases, people often refer to their 先輩 using the title 先輩 Rather than addressing them by their name as a sign of respect. In contrast, Kohai refers to someone who is typically younger, such as a student in a lower grade or less experienced colleagues. Let's practice. この方が私の尊敬している先輩です。この方が私の尊敬している先輩です。He Or she is my senior, I respect a lot. 後輩の面倒を見る。後輩の面倒を見る。I take care of my junior. ガキ。ガキ is slang term for child. While you may hear it frequently in anime, but be cautious when using it in real life conversations. Let's practice. ガキの頃の話をする。ガキの頃の話をする。Talk about our childhood. ガキのいたずらに違いない。ガキのいたずらに違いない。It must be the kid's prank. バイト。バイト is a short term for part-time job. It's commonly used to refer a part-time employment, typically among high schooler or college students in Japan. Let's practice. 昨日からバイト始めたんだ。昨日からバイト始めたんだ。I just started a part-time job from yesterday. 今日はバイト忙しかった。今日はバイト忙しかった。My part-time job was busy today. すごい。すご。すごい is an expression of amazement or admiration. It's often used to say something is amazing or incredible. Let's practice. すごいすごいすごすご 
Amazing! この成功は本当にすごいです。この成功は本当にすごいです。This success is truly remarkable. マジ。マジ is used to express seriousness or truthfulness.It's like saying seriously or for real.Let's practice. マジでマジで Are you serious? マジでありえない。マジでありえない。I seriously cannot believe this.Also use an intensifier like super or extremely like マジでかわいい。super cute. 超。超 is also intensifier like super or extremely. You will hear this word when someone wants to emphasize something. Let's practice. 超楽しかった。超楽しかった。It was super fun. 日本語って超難しい。日本語って超難しい。Japanese is extremely hard. やばい。やば。やばい are slang words often used to express something is dangerous, bad, or risky. Let's practice. やばバレたやばバレた Oh no, I got caught. やばいことが起きたやばいことが起きた Something bad happened. かわいいかわいい means cute. It's a word you will frequently hear when people are complimenting something adorable. Let's practice. Kimi sugoku kawaii ne. Kimi sugoku kawaii ne. You are really cute. Ano fuku kawaii. Ano fuku kawaii. The outfit is cute. Ikemen. Ikemen means good looking guy. This word is created by combining イケてる and men's with the men, referring to someone with a cool and handsome appearance. For example, 私の先輩はイケメンです。私の先輩はイケメンです。My 先輩 is a good looking guy. あのイケメン俳優が主演をしている。あのイケメン俳優が主演をしている。The good looking actor is in the leading role. かっこいい。かっこいい is used to describe someone or something as a cool or stylish. For example, かっこいい車に乗りたい。かっこいい車に乗りたい。I want to drive a cool car. 新しい髪型かっこいいじゃん。新しい髪型かっこいいじゃん。Your new hairstyle looks really cool. キモイ。キモイ is slang for something disgusting or gross. Sometimes we use キモ to express an immediate reaction when we found something disgusting. Let's practice. これマジでキモイ。これマジでキモイ。This is so gross. キモいこと言われた。キモいこと言われた。I was told disgusting things. おしゃれ。おしゃれ means stylish, trendy, or fashionable. It's often used in the context of clothing or appearance. Let's practice. 近所におしゃれなカフェができた。近所におしゃれなカフェができた。A stylish cafe opened in my neighborhood. いつもおしゃれだね。いつもおしゃれだね。You always look fashionable. 変態。変態 refers to pervert or sexually explicit content in the anime community. It's also used to describe a person who is very weird or behaves strangely. Let's practice. あの人ちょっと変態じゃないあの人ちょっと変態じゃない
Isn't the person a bit pervert? 変態は不快です。変態は不快です。Pervert behavior is uncomfortable. アホ、バカ。アホ and バカ both mean idiot, stupid, or fool. They are used in anime and daily conversation. But be mindful of when and where you use them. For example, アホなことはやめろ。アホなことはやめろ。Stop doing stupid things. バカにしないで。バカにしないで。Don't make fun of me. マジでバカ。マジでバカ。マジでアホ。マジでアホ。Seriously, you are stupid or fool. 絶対。絶対 means absolutely or definitely. It used to emphasize certainty and a strong commitment to a particular action or belief. For example, 絶対にありえないでしょう。絶対にありえないでしょう。It's absolutely impossible, right? 絶対に行くつもりです。絶対に行くつもりです。I absolutely plan to go. 無理。無理 means impossible. It used to convey that something cannot be done or achieved due to its difficulty. Let's practice. 無理しないで。無理しないで。Don't push yourself too hard. これは無理だと思う。これは無理だと思う。I think this cannot be done. 最低。最低 means the worst or the lowest. It used to express strong disapproval or disappointment in someone's behavior or qualities. Let's practice. あいつは最低のやつ。あいつは最低なやつ。He or she is the worst person. 最低のサービスだった。最低のサービスだった。It was the worst service. ダメ。ダメ means not good or not allowed. It used to indicate that something is prohibited or unacceptable. Or the particular course of action is unsuccessful or ineffective. Let's practice. ダメ元でやってみる。ダメ元でやってみる。Give it a shot as a last resort. これはダメですかこれはダメですか Is this not allowed? That's it for today's video. I hope you found this video both informative and entertaining. Learning a new language is a gateway to a richer understanding of culture, and those words are your keys to the world of Japanese anime and daily conversation. I hope you enjoy my video. And if you enjoy my video and if you want to explore my fan thing about Japan, remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. I love to hear your thought. Please leave a comment down below and let me know what you do like to see in my future video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for upcoming video. Dea mata!